name is Charlotte Stubbins and this is the presentation for Strategic Management Report Overview. Strategy stands for the development of a set of unique and irreproducible competencies and customer value propositions that enable you to continue to generate value. Competencies in this case means those things that your organisation does in order to carry out its business. It is a mixture of people, systems, structure and skills. There are two main types of strategy, one being prescriptive strategy, which is a formal and critical strategy. Tesco particularly use, use this strategy within the process of decision making for their cancer research sponsorship. Another strategy is emergent, which is something that develops over a long period of time and has no specific objectives, however these objectives will become clear within time. The company I have chosen for my case study is Tesco. My reasons being, Tesco have a huge customer loyalty base. They are vastly expanding the business within the UK and internationally. Tesco have businesses such as Tesco Mobile and Tesco Banking, and a range of stores such as Tesco Extra and Express. They're a highly valued company within the UK and are currently the leading food retailer. Tesco follows seven steps towards growth. Number one being to grow the UK core, Building a better Tesco, this plan produced by Tesco which is helping the business restore growth and help gain more profits and make particular improvements for customers. Number two, to be an outstanding international retailer in store and online. Number three, to be as strong in everything we sell as we are in food. Tesco are producing even more products and revamping Tesco finest as well as adding even more products to their Tesco value. Number four, to grow retail services in all our markets. Within the UK, Tesco have built strong markets within all aspects of business by expanding into the technological market. They plan to do this in every single market sector they have. Number five, to put our responsibilities to all the communities we serve at the heart of what we do. Tesco plan to pay more attention to the local communities and giving back to them at a higher level. Number six, to be a creator if highly established brands. Tesco want to be known as an established brand, not just within the food sector, but also the technological market, and also its very own food brands, such as Tesco Finest. And number seven, to build our team so that we can create more value. Tesco are investing more time in employees and job satisfaction to help them give the best they can within their job at Tesco, whether it be a manager or store supervisor. Tesco are currently the largest UK food retailer, providing millions of jobs all around the UK. They have around 2,318 stores whilst operating under four different banners such as Tesco Extra, Tesco Metro, Tesco Superstore and Tesco Express. Tesco operate in 12 different countries including China, India and Czech Republic. In China, they have 131 stores and first launched back in 2004. Tesco have expanded even further now to banking. Tesco Bank has over 6.5 million accounts and policies since 1997 when it was first established. The food and drink retail market is the largest industry in the UK. This particular sector provides jobs for around 3 million people in the manufacturing and retail sector. Tesco operate a substantial business within the food retailing industry and now a large online consumer record. Tesco have now expanded their brand by developing their banking and mobile phone business and launching the Tesco Club Card back in 2009. Tesco PLC hosts a five part strategy to utilise maximum growth within their company. These are the seven strategic steps they take towards growth. Number one, wanted and needed around the world. Tesco's strategy is to be the people's choice store, also an establishment people actually want to work and have job fulfilment out of their role. Number two, a growing business full of opportunities. Tesco believe in offering opportunities to both their colleagues and their customers and offering them something totally unique every time. Number three, modern, innovative and full of ideas. Tesco have based their business on fulfilling the needs and wants of the customer and making sure they do it better than any other supermarket chain. Number four, winners locally while supplying our skills globally. All cultures, tastes and climates are different which is why retail is local. 
Skills learned in certain places can all be applied to numerous others. This is where skills are built up. Skills learned in the UK can all be applied internationally, which clearly Tesco have now done. And number five, inspiring, earning trust and loyalty from customers, our colleagues and communities. Tesco drives to gain trust and loyalty from its customers. Every detail, whether it be in store or the Tesco price promise, Tesco want the consumers to believe they are getting great food quality at the cheapest prices. By being the cheapest on the market, they gain customer loyalty and trust. One of Tesco's most strategic decisions in terms of PR is Tesco becoming the sponsor for Cancer Research UK. It is an amazing charity to be representing within the UK and gives Tesco a great name for themselves in terms of promotional strategy. Non-strategic decisions are made verbally and are informal. When it comes to Tesco's non-strategic decisions, their main priority is customer and employee satisfaction, as Tesco have a huge customer loyalty base. When it comes to risk, all businesses face risk at some stage, whether it's competition or market climate. One main risk for Tesco is competitors, as the food retail industry is so large, Tesco have to constantly re-evaluate themselves to stay the very best in the market. Another risk for Tesco is the amount of business businesses they open, such as Tesco Banking, which is completely different to anything they have done before. But by employing a great team with years of experience, Tesco helped minimise that risk level. In this diagram, it shows the different stages of risk. Copious amounts of businesses make the mistake of concentrating on preventing the risk before people's priorities are thinking about the risks and risks that may occur rather than dealing with the risk that is already there and the customer. In 1997, Tesco announced their joint business venture with the Royal Bank of Scotland. In the July, the first credit card was launched when people had access to loans, savings accounts and eventually home insurance. However, Tesco had never ventured into such a business as banking and faced huge risk. Recommendations. By Tesco producing a monthly slash weekly SWOT analysis, they could benefit themselves in terms of distinguishing their weaknesses and finding room for improvement. This table shows a SWOT analysis for Tesco. Tesco's strengths are mainly, within the UK, Tesco has a very valued brand name and loyalty from its customers. Also, Tesco's online services offer huge profit for the company and is highly valued by customers. Some of Tesco's weaknesses are that they rely very heavily on the UK market alone for the majority of its profits rather than its other international stores. Also, opportunities that Tesco could take into consideration. They could focus more on their international market rather than solely relying on the UK. They could also begin to concentrate on broadening their other markets rather than concentrating on food which they have begun to do by releasing the Huddle tablet. Threats that Tesco face. Tesco have extremely strong competitors such as Asta, Asda in the same market. By expanding abroad even further, they risk losing profit and if not, being as successful as the UK. Also, by having too many business ventures, they could spoil their whole brand. Pestle analysis is different factors that could... That could Pestle analysis is different factors that could affect the business. Political factors. Tesco now operates in 14 different countries such as India, China and many more. The political and legislative conditions will be highly influential to Tesco. Government push businesses to provide employment for the community so that having that organisation in a certain area can benefit everyone. With Tesco being such a large organisation, there are numerous job roles that can be offered, such as low paid jobs up to high paid, also offering internship schemes to undergraduate students, also highly skilled jobs, all these are available through Tesco. Tesco believe in equal opportunity for everyone, including students and OAPs, all the employment legislation laws are followed exactly by Tesco. Economic factors. Any demand for a particular product in a market is all always depends on the economic factors as that particular project can be affected by interest, inflation and unemployment. Any of these factors are out of the organisation's hands but yet can have a substantial effect on that organisation's performance. Social factors. Changing customer behaviour and attitude are things that affect businesses as well as demographic changes. As Tesco is in the food industry and has so many competitors, it has to regularly check its customers 
and customers' needs and wants as they change almost every day. So Tesco have to keep up with these social changes. Tesco have now attracted more customers to not just their food but also clothing, electrical and home. Technological factors. By investing in new technologies into an organisation, it will always have its benefits to the business and its customers. Tesco have recently, in September 2013, launched a tablet called Huddle, appealing to a broader market within technology. By introducing this product, they are attracting a broader market of customers. Some of Tesco's in-store technology is things such as electronic point of sale, self-checkout machines, and electronic fund transfer system. Legal factors. Tesco has to expertly follow government laws and the performance can be affected by these laws. One particular law is a food retailing commission to make sure they are standard pricing for products. By enforcing this law, Tesco have to not change the prices without any notice and the payment should not be demanded from any suppliers. Majority of stores regularly change in-store prices to attract customers and make them vary from other competitors. Environmental factors. All businesses should try to be as environmentally friendly as possible by cutting wastage whilst producing products whilst they're being manufactured, decrease the use of particular resources and reducing anything that could potentially be harmful to the environment. To conclude, this report demonstrates the strategic and non-strategic decisions that Tesco as a company do and the strategic decisions they come up against. As a company, Tesco strive to remain the best within the food retailing industry while setting themselves positive and achievable strategic goals and objectives within the company. It allows them to be the very best they can be. Through the report, it shows how Tesco market themselves in a particular way in order for them to make revenue, as well as being loyal to customers. The report also highlights issues that Tesco have faced or may face in the future, and the methods they use to overcome these problems. Theories have also been considered throughout this report and applied to the different strategies and how those strategies are used, particularly by Tesco.